to begin our refresher, well, let's look at severity by AHI, severity by apnea hypopnea index. I think it's important to note, though, that there is a poor correlation between the objective AHI and symptoms of sleepiness. But let's just look at the objective assessment. So 5 to 15 incidents per hour, a 5 to 15 AHI is considered mild obstructive sleep apnea. 15 to 30 on the AHI per hour is considered moderate and more than 30 is considered severe OSA. So uh, repeat, uh, there's a poor correlation between these numbers and how severely an individual is affected, how hypersomnolent they are. You would think then, why do we do it? Well, we, we need this from a physiological perspective. We can see how their body is being impacted. And really, this is where, combined with the sleepiness symptoms, when the NHS decides it's going to pay for their treatment or not. Key definitions, a little refresher. So sleep, temporary cyclic physiological loss of consciousness, readily completely reversed when stimulated or aroused. OSA. Obstructive sleep apnea. This is the breathing disorder characterized by brief interruptions during sleep. Brief interruptions of breathing, typically more than 10 seconds, up to 10, up to two minutes perhaps. This is the patient that cannot sleep and breathe at the same time. OSAS or OSAS, obstructive sleep apnea syndrome. This is symptomatic OSA. Irresistible sleep and it's in unsuitable circumstances is the definition. And hypersomnolence, that's the clever way of saying excessively sleepy in their normal wake time. Recurrent episodes of excessive sleepiness. Now, we're going to look at the difference between obstructive sleep apnea, which is by far the largest form of sleep apnea, and central apnea, and then mixed apnea. Obstructive apnea is the absence of airflow despite persistent breathing efforts. Okay, so the body is making effort to breathe, but there is an obstruction, think of it that way, in the throat. Central apnea is an absence of airflow due to a lack of breathing effort. So there is no drive to breathe. The brain is not actually stimulating breathing. Mixed apnea is a combination of the two central and obstructive sleep apnea. It's considered to have a central pattern which can then evolve into obstructive. But so mixed is both central, no drive to breathe, obstructive, there is an obstruction.